Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the fourth episode of King Penny's podcast, man. We got a special guest here today. Hey, I want to remind you guys on August 13th at the Weight Pile in the Rocky, 1610 Main Street, we're doing free back to school haircuts this week, man. Hey, you guys check us out. We got breakfast for the kids, man. Hey, you come work out, man, and while your kids get a haircut and get it in really good, man. That's 1610 Main Street, uh, Sunday from 8 a.m. to noon. All haircuts will be done, man. Hey, and make sure you you shout out those barbers we're gonna put them up here again man for giving up their skill and their time man we really appreciate it so with no further ado hey we got a special guest from far away man we're gonna go ahead and bring her in how you doing today i'm doing good how are you i'm doing well hey i appreciate that <laughs> oh, hey, thank you i'm doing well uh so let's get your name and where you're from um, so I'm Mickey. I'm 22 years old, and I'm from uh, Aurora, Colorado. Okay, the big A. All right. Yeah. No, I appreciate you driving down and stuff like that. What's uh, what's the family look like? Um, so it's just me and my mom, and yeah, that's basically yeah. it. Single, married. Yeah, I'm just me by myself. <laughs> trying to hustle. Like not single. Not just, it's just me by myself. Like, that's a new level I'm of single. I'm married to myself. You feel look, me? that's a new level of single. She said, "Me myself." <laughs> myself and I. I heard that. That's the best way to be sometimes. Hey, look here. So what is it that you do? Um, So I'm a student barber at Emily Griffith down oh. in downtown Denver. And I'm just basically like doing DoorDash, you know, anything to make some money <laughs> while I can, while I'm in school and stuff. Hey, I respect the hustle. That's how you got to be sometimes. Hey, so how long have you been doing uh, the school thing? So I started school in April. Okay. And how long is the program for? Like It's nine months, and uh, so I graduate in March. Oh, okay. Exciting times. It's getting close. This year's flying by. It is. It's moving really fast, because every time I turn around, this rent is due. Like, <laughs> I'm like, hold on. Is this supposed to be moving like this? Uh, which call? So, I came across you, right, because I interviewed Caesar, the mm -hmm. barber, uh, out, of, uh, out of Denver, and stuff like that, and I caught you on his Instagram at a winning Wednesday event, you know, I mean, cutting hair for the unhoused community. How did you get involved in that? Um, so Caesar came to our school and he basically told us, hey, I'm doing haircuts for, you know, the homeless. If you guys want to come down, just send me a message and we'll get you set. So I sent him a message and he was like, yep, I have a chair, table, just come on down and the rest is history. Man, that's great. That's, no, that's really good. So how did you get involved in just cutting hair, period, before school? Like, before you actually decided to go to school for it, how did you get involved in cutting hair? Um, so about a year ago, a little over a year ago, I was working at 7-Eleven. And, you know, I got into some trouble. And I really just wanted to find my purpose and, like, what I wanted to do with my life. So um, I went to a tattoo shop and a barber shop for like a job interview and the barber shop hired me. So I'm like, OK, let's see, you know, how their everyday lives are. Let me see, you know, what it looks like, see if I want to commit. And once I started working there, I fell in love. And that's when I signed up for school and got everything going. So you can draw, I take it like. An artist like type? No, of? I was thinking more like piercings. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm like, oh, all right. I'm not much of an artist, <laughs> but some, but a lot of barbers are though. Yeah, that's like the crazy thing about it. Like they can draw, draw, and I was like, oh, okay, so piercing, all right. But no, so do you remember your first haircut? Um. Well, my first haircut was my friend Kai. And it took like five hours just to do like a buzz on the sides and back. Yeah. But um, it was real cool. And I was like, yup, I think I can do this. I think like this is going to make me happy, you know? Nah, that's super legit. So right now, I'm sure it doesn't take you five hours. Now you zooming through probably now, aren't you? It takes me a while. I'm still learning and stuff. You know, I didn't grow up cutting hair. And I don't have like a lot of males in my life that I'm like, hey, you know, come through, get a cut. So... It, it probably takes me like 45 to an hour. That's, hey, that's legit. You know what I mean? That's super cool. So, because I brought you up here, right? Because I just want to highlight, you know what I mean? Like mainly your community service and what you're doing in the community and whatnot like that. How long have you been doing Wednesday Wednesdays? Like how long have you been actually participating? Um, It's probably been since like June for 
uh, winning Wednesdays, yeah. but for Mutual Aid Monday, I've been doing that since April. Oh, so you do? May. So you do that one as well? Mm -hmm. Oh, see, you learn something new every day. I thought you just did like the winning Wednesday, but Mutual Aid Mondays as well. Mm -hmm. That's super cool, man. I, I'm trying to tell you, like, like I said, I'm sure you heard on the intro. We're doing an event down here, courtesy of like you know seeing everybody giving back up there. I was just like tapped in with a couple barbers here, and I'm like, hey, man. Look here what these guys are doing. How can we pull something together? And all the local barbers, I was just surprised at how they just, yeah, I'm down, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so barbers, are, right now, they look, they're trending upwards in my book, man. Right. So I just want to thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you for all that you do. Thank you. So you had mentioned, right? So you're working at 7-Eleven and you had had some problems. Mm -hmm. Let's. Can we go ahead and touch on that just for a little bit? Like what yeah. kind of problems or? Yeah. Um. So... I I got arrested um, in regards to some things like with a past relationship. And when that happened, it, it honestly scared me, you know, like it, I got a felony charge and it was just like, you know, this is what my life has come to. Like, it, it was definitely really scary. Um, and working at 7-Eleven didn't help. You know, there's a lot of people doing drugs and, you know, just not a lot of good energy there. So when that all happened, you know, I just wanted to end it there and figure out something new, you know. Mm -hmm. um, what was what was what was rock bottom? Like what was like, you know, like the, oh, the arrested for the felony was like the rock, the lowest of the low. Or was there another like just, a, oh, man, things got to change. Like, when was that moment? Um, yeah, I think getting arrested and, you know, losing people I loved and things like that, it made me realize, like, maybe I'm not as, like, awesome as I think I am and I need to, you know, start putting in some work. Um, and, you know, in the past, I've been through a lot of different things, but that was the final straw where I was like, yeah, I, I don't want to be this way. Because I grew up kind of thinking like, oh, okay, you know, I'm going to do drugs. I might go to jail and then, you know, die or something. So, and I don't want to think like that. Because once you think like that, that's what manifests. So, and like, I feel like I have a lot of potential and a lot of things that, you know, I can add to, if that makes sense. So... I didn't want to just be defined by every crappy thing I've done or been through, you know? No, you shouldn't. I mean, you're 22. You got a lot of life ahead of you, you know, but it sounds like you had a rough go, you know what I mean? But the giving back part, man, it, it, you you can only grow from that. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? That, And I'm sure you probably work with other people like that you come across with at these events that kind of you can see them and, you know, what I mean, like, oh, I could have been hitting that way or. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. But the main thing I want to focus on is where are you at now? Like mentally, like where are you? Um, I, I feel like I'm doing a lot better. There are times where I doubt myself, you know, and I'm like, I'm doing all this stuff and it's not like there's no results. But I, I feel really proud of who I am today and what I've accomplished in the past year. I didn't even have a car last year, you know, so. Yeah having a car you know i lost some weight things like that i'm like okay i'm i'm on the way up so i feel good no i'm and i guarantee that's a great feeling man because you're seeing the progress you're seeing the you know what i mean the fruits of your your labor and stuff like that so are you in any classes or anything like that regarding this felony are you past all that or um so i'm on probation and for like a year i got charged in may 2022 and i'm on probation for two years okay. but um what was the question again i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> no i'm saying like are, are you you ha are you required to do any classes or anything mm. like with that probation are you yeah so i did like um individual... and as much as you can talk about it, i don't want to yeah. really like i said just press into it but i'm just i like to see people like you know i mean being successful in probation and different things like that because it shows other people that yeah. hey look here for two years 
I'll just do my classes. I'll get my life together and you can complete it because a lot of people don't complete it to be uh, and I want to be completely honest with you. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't want to like or say manifest that or anything like that. But I just I like for people to see that you can complete it and do what's required and still get other stuff done to better your life at the same time is what I'm kind of trying to highlight to, for sure. to, to like people watching or anything like that. But I really whatever you feel comfortable talking about is yeah. like the main thing. Um, well, I did like domestic violence therapy. Um, so just like working on my anger, you know, and how I respond, you know, to certain things, you know, when I'm in an argument with somebody or a situation. Um, and I've done individual therapy. So those were like the main like classes I did. Um, but I completed those and all that. Um, how are you doing nowadays with like drugs and alcohol and things of that sort? Are you? I'm doing good. I everything that happened it like scared me. So now I can't even think about doing drugs or anything like that. So what do you do for fun now? Outside of cutting hair, because I do as look as go to. I I fade somebody up. I'm good. Like what, what do you do for fun? Like what is what is what what, what does fun look like? Um. I mean, I like to, I, I'm kind of a boring person, I will say that, but I like to drive around, you know, listen to music. Before, like, my knee stuff, I used to work out a lot. That always made me feel good. I always had a fun time doing that. Um, what happened to the knee? I was longboarding, and I was going down a hill, yeah. and um, I fell off, and the bone connected to my ACL kind of, like, detached a little bit. <clears throat> <laughs> oh yeah God. not the best thing yeah. and i don't skate like that i was just like oh let me go out you know have some fun mm. and it ended like that so yeah so yeah. now you're nervous about the knee i don't know for sure because you know my with barbering you have to stand yeah. for hours on end so i definitely try to be cautious you know yeah so what's the plans after school? Like, what is your, like, well, well, in an ideal world, right? You graduate in uh, March, you said, of next year. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? Like, what would, in a perfect world, like, would you like to work in a shop? Would you like to have your own shop? Would you like to, you know what I mean? Like, do something else or? Um, well, within a year, I would want to be in a shop and just try to, like, build up on my skills and clientele, things like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's cool. But just cutting hair, right? Or do you want to do like other like cosmetology things or just mainly just barbering? Mainly just barbering. Um, I definitely want to look into like owning my own business and yeah. things like that. But um, that's, you know, far in the future. Yeah, no, down the line. <laughs> but I'm glad, I'm glad your mind is like, you know what I mean? Thinking in a long, long term down the line. But no, that's good. So what's your favorite haircut to do? Anything, uh, anything that anybody who has hair, I will do it, you know, yeah. whatever you want. But I mean, I like things that are different, you know, mullets, mohawks, things like that. But at this point, you know, I'm so new to it. I will do whatever. You know, I think people are going to be surprised when they see this because they're going to see your hair down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> I different. think normally like it's up and it's like all like lined up and stuff like that. But like seeing you with your hair down is definitely a different look. But I mean, it's like I say, it's a great look, but it's like definitely like a different like side of you. you know, that. Yeah, I feel like I'm pretty versatile in how I look and it gives off different vibes, you know, each time. Yeah. <laughs> so are you excited about this week? Uh, you guys have an event on at uh, manual high school how are you feeling about that i feel really good about it i'm excited um i'm excited for caesar you know yeah. i think it's a great opportunity to be helping people and also for all the students and barbers that are helping out there i think it's a great opportunity i think anybody you know who does hair should at least once you know help somebody or a community you know because you guys have a, a few like that you go to school with going as well too don't you like, yeah 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 are you close with the other barbers like uh there yeah i'm I'm cool with them uh we're not like best friends you yeah. know but my whole class they're i can tell they're just like driven people and yeah. that's what i love to be around and the school know? is a good school like? yeah 
it oh, is okay. and it's it's a good price you know they teach you what you need to know and you know i'm getting extra opportunities from going there meeting you know barbers that own shops and things like that uh like dane vickers oh, okay. he has an event for the love um and that's what that's like that's like uh is that uh sunday yeah that's it, sunday after the day so the day after yours is his right no or is it the day um, before so for the love it already happened oh, but okay. it's like every sunday in a month they at a shop like a bunch of barbers will come in do each other's hair uh promote yourself things like that oh man that's super cool i gotta look into that man like nah that's super dope man your barbers be giving giving back a lot i gotta try to figure out what you guys <laughs> got going on nah like that so like i said i didn't want to stay too far in the past about what you have going on and stuff like that but i do like where your mind is and so i don't know you seem kind of driven now yeah. is, there, is there like a role model or a you know what i mean like something that really drives you or someone um you know i i really look up to my mom she's the hardest worker i know at the end of the day but there's different people on social media like david goggins oh, joe yeah. rogan yeah. you know people like that that talk about just you know giving it your all you know and pushing through any obstacle you know things like that so i i take inspiration from them for sure yeah. motivation david goggins is definitely a little extreme look here hey man but the guy goes hard man like i his message like especially where he came from you know what I mean? To where he's at now and how he sees things and how he pushes through. Like, it's just different adversity, man. I just think the videos and the books and stuff like that is amazing, man. Like, I really do. And the fact that you're, you know what I mean, tapped into that. It says a lot about where you're headed right now. Yeah. That's all. That's all I really want to touch on, man. So you do a lot of volunteer work, right? What is, What has been, like, I'm sure it has to be trying at times, like dealing with, you know, the unhoused community or just different people who are allowed to show up at these events and stuff like that. What has been like the worst, like, mm. or has there been? I don't think there's really been like a too bad experience. I think just seeing people, you know, high and things like that. And it's not all the time, you know, it's just a few, but it, it's sad, you know, and for me, I've kind of been through those things. So to see someone in that situation, it's a little triggering, you know, yeah. but I don't know. I I feel like everyone has potential. So to see that, it's just like kind of crappy, you know? Yeah. And so what has been the most gratifying? Like what's been the most satisfying of what, about volunteering? Um, I think just seeing like the same faces over and over again, yeah. you know, you just like people will walk up to me and I see how happy they are um, just from like me cutting their hair, you know, the week prior. This guy, the other week, he gave me a photo that someone took of us while I was doing his hair. And I don't know, that just like warms my heart, you know, and he looks so happy handing me this photo. I'm like, OK, like I'm meant to do this for real. Yeah. You know, what would you what would you tell any up and coming barber, female, male, about getting in this field? What what skill set or what do they need to know? Um, I think the most important thing is just dedication and consistency um because i feel like there's at any job or any you know type of trade there's people who get lazy or whatever but if you just like keep pushing you know work hard i feel like you can't go wrong with that you know and with barbering it's not about talent it's about how much you educate yourself and how much time you put into it so just like Go hard. No, you know, they go hard. He hit it with the David Goggins. Go hard. <laughs> stay, she hard. Said, stay hard. Yeah. I've heard that. <laughs> so what about all right? And this is the last thing. So so you're 22. Like I say, you got the got the world ahead of you, right? You had some bumps and whatnot like that. What would you tell a 22 year old female? You know that was kind of lost, or that is lost. Like what would you? What advice would you give her? 
to kind of pull this thing together before she would make a decision or get in a situation like you? Um, it's a tough question. I know it's got a lot of moving parts and things like that. And like I say, I mean, put you on the spot about it, but I think it's a growing moment and you've shown a lot of growth, how you got through this and how you've, you know what I'm saying? Kind of springboarded off that hardship into a new trajectory, into a upward, like, you know what I mean? Like headed on your way. What would you tell a younger you? I would say just like find something you love and do it, you know, cause for a long time, I didn't love anything, you know, not even myself. So just like take the chance, you know, even if it's just small, like working at a barbershop, you know, like as a receptionist, just try something new and find your passion and you'll be good. Because if you don't have anything to look forward to, it's just like, oh, you know, I, I could do this. It doesn't really matter because it's not going to affect, you know, my feet or like, I don't know. It's not going to like I think about my barbering in the future. Um, and like it makes me not do certain things today. Does that make sense? No, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely like you have goals and dreams and you don't want the decisions you make now to kind of, you know what I mean? Throw those off. Right. And, for sure. And so, yeah, it makes like complete sense, like more sense than, you know, because I think, <laughs> like I said, no matter the age, we all, you know what I mean? Make poor decisions or we all get ourselves in situations that aren't like, you know what I mean? Reflective of who we are now, but also too, I, I think a lot of people don't understand that. Like you said, those decisions may affect down the line, what you can and can't do, or what you, you know what I mean? What, what's possible right. and stuff like that. The main thing is I appreciate you coming down. I want to commend you for all that you're doing, all that you're giving back to the community. And like I said, you just come in and opening up and talking and letting us in, you know what I mean? To, you know, what you've been through, where you're at and stuff like that. Cause that right there is bravery within itself. So I want to thank you for that. Um, I want to wish you all the best of luck. And don't forget, oh, and don't forget about uh, her event at Manuel High School on, uh, what was that? August 12th. Uh, on August 12th this week. She'll be there. And they're going to be doing free haircuts. There'll be vendors. There'll be bouncy houses. I, hey, they're doing way bigger than what I got going on on the day after. You know what I'm saying? But they're doing great things, man. From uh, 12 to... Eight. Mm -hmm. So all from, day. Uh, so all day uh, from twelve to eight, and I'll put the flyer up here, man. Shout out to Caesar the barber. Uh, also, to uh, shout out to the Winning Wednesday crew, uh, Natasha and Arena, uh, and the Mutual Aid Mondays. Look, I don't know who runs this, but they seem to be doing something right. Uh, give them the Instagram handle. My Instagram is Mickey Jane XX. Mickey Jane XX. So I'll put that at the bottom also, too. So if you're up in Aurora or Denver, you need a haircut, man, hey, holler at her. And also, too, I think down the line, hey, future shops. You know what I mean? You might want to, you know, think about her. She's going to be coming up for graduation here in the next few months, man. Hey, give her a shout out, man. Give her a try and stuff like that. And matter of fact, look, let her interview you to see if she want to work at your shop. Nah, hey. <laughs> but nah, man. Hey. Thank you guys again. Like I said, hey, uh, the Wade Powell and the Rockies, uh, we got back to school haircuts, like I said, Sunday uh, at 1610 Main Street. We do we do ours early in the morning, so 8 a.m. to 12. You know what I mean? Breakfast is on us. Come get a workout. Get your kids' haircuts, man. Hey, give back to the community. That's what we do. Hey, thank you, Longmont. I got Mickey here. Hey, the barber of the future right here. Hey, it's your boy, King Penny, man. Hey, thank you guys for joining us, man. We're out of here.